Okay, this is lab is cover about operating system recovery. If you have problem, see the problems happening on your PC, you can check these uh, recovery options. Here are some typical problem. Your PC isn't working well because you recently installed an update. So this is your mainly the system update. The recovery option, you, you just remove that installed uh, update. This uh, happened to Windows Ubuntu many times. And also Mac OS and your PC uh, isn't working well and uh, it's been aware since you installed an uh, application or driver or update. So you can, uh, in this case, you can reset your PC. Now, how do we reset our PC? Different operating system, they have different uh, methods. The third problem, your PC want to start and you haven't created a recovery driver, drive. Then resetting your PC didn't work. When you bought a computer, usually they have a recovery drive. So you can reset your PC to factory uh, using factory reset. If you repartition your hard drive, so that recovery partition may uh, be lost if you didn't keep it. Then in this case, you can use installation media to reinstall the operating system. Typically, uh, we use a CD or DVD, today mainly DVD, because the operating system is so huge more than uh, two gigabytes, for example. Ubuntu is more than two gigabytes now, and Windows is more, more than uh, four or five gigabytes now. So you can, uh, but today, most of our laptops don't have a CD or DVD drive, right? How could we uh, install our operating system without a DVD? We can create a boot up USB, then use that uh, USB to install our operating system. And we will learn later in the following weeks then how to create an uh, installation USB. If your PC won't start and you haven't, create, uh, you haven't created a recovery drive, Again, you use uh, install, installation media to restore your PC. Your PC won't start and you will create a recovery drive. If you have created, you have created a recovery drive, then you use that create recovery drive to restore or recover your PC. And if you want to reinstall your previous operating system, for example, there are too many uh, garbage you collected for a long time, you, then you may you want to reinstall your operating system. You can go back to your previous version of operating system, or you don't like your current version uh, operating system. Your PC isn't working well, and you recently installed an uh, application. So it's uh, similar to this one. You can restore from, from a system uh, restore point. So it depends on the recovery option provided by the operating system or what you have done, for example, whether you have created a recovery drive or create a whole disk backup or your system backup, or whether you have an installation media. So it depends on your what you, you have prepared as we learned the disaster planning. So what plan you have and what preparation have you done during the time when a disaster happened this problem happened, you come to a disaster recovery. So you will do this recover based on your planning and your preparation. So we have a real question. Describe the pros and cons of the six recovery options in the table above. You can describe these uh, pros and cons by googling some 
more information. And from the table above, choose two recovery options for your personal computer disaster recovery and planning. Then state the reason why you choose these two options. How many of you have uh, this kind of disaster recovery planning for your personal computer? If you don't, then you can design a disaster recovery and a plan for your personal computer. In case your personal computer breaks down, you can follow following this plan to recover your personal computer. Certainly you need some preparation, for example, make a backup or set up system restore point or create uh, installation media and so on. And what's your plan using these two recovery options? How do you answer this question? You just suppose what kind of risk you may face, right? And I suppose those uh, risk or disaster happened, then what kind of recovery option you use to recover your personal computer? So this is what's your plan using these uh, two recovery options. The first one, you, you need to uh, Google some information. The second one, you just to choose any tool, right? For example, restore from a system uh, restore point or use installation media to restore your PC. This is the second option. Then the last one, the second question, the last one, you need to answer what's your plan and how do you use your plan? How do you prepare? So this is a review question. Now for the task, we have two sets of tasks and you only need to choose uh, only one set out of the following two sets, a Linux set, a Windows set. The Linux set, the advantage is uh, we can download uh, this Linux distribution free and they are open source. We don't need an uh, installation key. We don't need activation, right? But if you work for a company, most of the personal computer in the United States, maybe we use Windows, at least in our uh, lab, or our computers are using uh, Windows. And in Windows, you, you need an installation key and activation. Okay, which option do you want to choose? So maybe it's uh, good to choose a Windows set since uh, most of our computers are using uh, Windows, right? And for European, and also for those companies that run uh, servers, lots of servers, we know almost 100% of our servers they use uh, Linux. So let's uh, do this uh, Windows set. Later on, let's uh, try our Linux set. Today, we, we choose this uh, Windows set. We will practice two options. On this, uh, on a virtual machine, we create a virtual machine virtual box, then install Windows 10 or Windows Server in this virtual machine. That's the preparation we have. Uh, virtual PC now, then we try one recovery option. This one, restore from a system restore point here. Choose restore from a system restore point from recovery uh, options in Windows 10. Choose this one and create a restore point A, install uh, software B, then you restore the system to restore point A, check that software B is gone. Actually any, uh, activities were done on this machine, they will be gone. And uh, the second option, create a, a boot to restore Windows following this uh, article, how to easily reset a computer back to a clean state each time it boots, just like our lab computers, right? For example, if you want to manage public access, accessible, computers, for example, in the public uh, library and uh, uh, school labs, then you need 
this technique is very useful. Okay, these are all the tasks that we are going to do today. And uh, this subtask is very easy, right? You, you will have done this one. And this one, maybe some students have practiced this one. I don't know whether anyone had, had practiced uh, this one. Right, first step, we need to download Winston or Windows Server. Let's use uh, Winston. Here, you scroll down, uh, list a lot of uh, references. For example, Winston, you can download Winston as well from your web browser, evaluate Winston Enterprise. We need a uh, evaluation. Certainly, you can uh, try download this Windows 10 ISO file from your web browser. Then use the installation key on your current Windows system to install this one. But I suggest you use this uh, Windows 10 Enterprise Edition. This evaluation software is designed for IT professionals as you are all IT professionals after your graduation. Interested in trying this Winston Enterprise on behalf of their organization, your future organization. And uh, we only recommend that you install this evaluation. If you are not an IT professional or are not professionally managing corporate networks or devices. Our CIT program train you to be to become IT professionals, so we chose this one. ISO Enterprise. You need to fill inside this uh, your name and so on. Then continue. Okay, please uh, download this one. I will fill this information. Okay, it will take some time to complete this uh, downloading. During this uh, downloading, we can create a virtual machine. Use your uh, VMware or VirtualBox. Okay, we will create a Windows machine. Windows 10, 64-bit. And the name is a Win 10 Enterprise. Windows 10, why do you want to give me a, oh, this version is Windows 10. Six to pop it. Or you can also, okay, the memory, you may choose four gigabytes, depends on the available memory on your computer. And create a virtual hard disk now. Choose the default one. Dynamically allocated, saved over there. 50 gigabytes, so okay, we just uh, use that for evaluation. Now we have this uh, virtual machine bus, but my ISO file is still uh, downloading and the speed is uh, quite low. It still need 17 minutes. So during this time, we can learn this article to see how to do this uh, lab. Maybe you don't need my video, you just follow this uh, You will just follow these articles. Here, this article, the recording option, restore from a system restore point, right? Click right here. But uh, before you can restore to a restore point, you need to create a restore point manually. So we learn how to create a restore point first. Certainly, you can also use your laptop to do the lab, but uh, it's not recommended. Here in the search box, on the task bar, type create a restore point, select from list of results, uh, result. 
can create a system restore point at some description. For example, here, uh, just have restore point. Here you see create restore point. In this tab, system protection, then you can create a system restore point and protecting settings, protecting which one. And also you need to check these settings, config restore settings, manage disk space and create restore points. I'll create a restore point right now for the drives that have system protection turned on. That is a system protection turn on. You, when you install application, actually you install in, in this uh, system uh, drive, right? You can uh, configure these settings. Here you can see uh, these settings. By enabling system uh, protection, you can undo undesired changes by reverting to your, your computer to a previous point in time. And then turn on system protection. Now, disk space usage, you can adjust the maximum disk space used for system uh, pro protection as space fills up. Older restore points will be deleted to make room for new ones. So it's just like those uh, backup rotation scheme. Similar to that, right? So you can uh, all allocate some space for that. This is the con configure that you can uh, create. Once you have those uh, restore point, you can choose this uh, system rest restore. Then it will jump up. Restore system files and settings. You click next, next. Follow this. Uh, follow this wizard. I think it's easy to to follow. Once you create uh, some uh, restore point, so it's very important. If you want to do a big update or install some drivers, it's better create a restore point before you do that. So it is a restore uh, point. So this is, is an easy lab, right? Create a restore point, install software, restore the system to that restore point. Now the, the third subtask, boot to restore. We use this uh, boot to restore RX software. How to easily reset a computer back to a clean state each time it boots. You follow this uh, article using this uh, boot restore rx it has a free version so you use its uh, free version to do this uh, lab i think this uh, one is uh, this manual is clear to follow when the status state tool it becomes obsolete so we can use this one Reboot Restore RX, and it supports both Windows 7 and Windows 8. And you see this article uh, seven years ago. Now uh, it supports uh, supports Windows 10 as well. This uh, Reboot Restore, so you can install this one and pay attention to the options. Usually, you only want to restore the partition contains your operating system, but maybe a uh, your computer has only one partition, is this one. So you may need to save. But in our uh, virtual machine, we can save this one. Uh, to our host machine. Or maybe during the installation, we can create two partitions. Let's uh, see, we, we'd better add one uh, virtual disk to our virtual machine. Then we can save all those uh, backup data to our second virtual disk. 
once you installed, you can see report. You can check restore. You need to prevent users from disabling report restore RX. So I think it's uh, easy to follow. Accessing the boot console. Here you can see restore now or uninstall or exit. I think there may be some option to disable this uninstall or only show up restore now or let it restore automatically. I didn't try this one, I don't know. So we need to uh, try it. Okay, this is this uh, third subtask. I see it's uh, easy left, right? So in your virtual machine, you need to add one more disk in this storage here. In this storage, you can use this one, add a hard disk. And this hard disk, we add a new one. This one is used for backup. So give it a name. Let's say uh, reboot to restore. We'll just create a backup. Oops, we need to create a new one. This is add. You create a new one. So create a dynamic uh, the allocated one and a quotes name. Give it a good name or readable name. So we call it a backup. Now we add this one, choose it. Is it added uh, to our virtual machine? Now our virtual machine has two hard drive. One is Windows 10 Enterprise to signalize the backup and also a CD, DVD drive. And uh, in, when you use that uh, reboot to restore to do the backup, save it in the backup drive. 